YouTube, it's DMAX Supreme back with another video for another reaction, well, whatever you want to call it. Today, I'm here to talk about Suicide Boys getting sued by 36 Mafia. Uh, to be honest, when I first when I heard it, bro, when I like saw it on old Jumper and stuff like that on the Instagram page, I was honestly surprised. I was like, how, how are, how is Suicide Boys getting, getting sued? by 36 mafia and they've been sampling this shit for like three to four years bro how yo that, that just didn't make no sense to me that that shit didn't register in my head it didn't make no sense to me so bro we're gonna do some research we're gonna do some research and we're gonna see what happened well i'm a i'm a i'm a i'm gonna I'm a look up an article on here for real, I'm gonna look up an article on here and see what see what happened. See see why Suicide Boys getting sued by Three Six Mafia. So basically, I uh, went on Double XL website for it. They said, according to the court documents filed on June 25th, Double XL, they basically found out Pauly D. I mean, fuck it. DJ Paul, bro. I said, my dumb ass said Pauly D. <laughs> it was something, bro. DJ Paul and Juicy J filed a copyright. Lawsuit against Suicide Boys said there was sampling and stealing from 35 tracks that belong to 36 Mafia. I mean, I knew that, but they've been it just don't make sense because they did it for like three to four years. So, why or how I know how, but like, why are they getting sued now? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it just don't make no sense. Like, that, it wouldn't make sense if they did it like probably like the first year like the first or second year the suicide boys really start getting popping in bro that, that wouldn't make sense but three to four years later bro that just don't make no sense like why why now why now like suicide they must have been this or something so they made they used elements from songs mass and the glock Mafia, N word. I know that. Smoked out, loked out. I think I heard that before. Break the law. They 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 sampled a couple songs. He said the New Orleans duo also denied Juicy J and DJ Paul even own the copyrights for most of the songs that Ruby and Scrim who dropped there. I want to die in New Orleans album two years ago are accused of stealing from two years ago bro two years ago bro like can you imagine that imagine really getting sued three to four years later <laughs> like just imagine that imagine you just telling like oh i'm on instagram for let me let me straighten this i'm getting i'm sued by 36 mafia oh somebody's calling you calling you i love yo what's up what's going on Getting sued by who? Three six mafia. I'm getting I'm getting sued by three six mafia. For, for how much? How much? How much? How, how much? Am I six 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 point six point four million. Six point four million. Imagine that, bro. Like six point four million, bro. I don't even have that in my bank account. <laughs> I mean, most of us don't, bro. That's a lot of money for us. That's a lot of money, bro. I mean, but at, think about it, bro. At least they're getting sued now. I, I know it's kind of bad that they're getting sued, but at least they're getting sued now than back then when they first started coming out. Because they probably didn't have a million dollars when they, like, first started, like, buzzing and stuff like that. They probably didn't have a million dollars. I remember when, when I was watching the uh, No Jump interview, 
on on my live stream one of my live streams they said they was even making money while they was doing that interview it they wasn't they wasn't rich yet they wasn't making the money like that it's crazy bro mind blowing you think they're getting a no jumper interview they got money because they're getting like getting buzz and stuff like it's crazy bro but they're getting sued well i guess that was it now he's showing me I'm probably going to cut that off because I don't I don't know what the I, what I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> but <laughs> but anyway, uh <laughs> it's crazy though. It just don't make no sense, bro. It just don't make no sense. They said news comes as a surprise because Juicy and DJ Paul have had a working relationship. With the duo. That's what I'm saying. Like. I know if they had to work together, if they was sampling, sampling all this stuff, they had to work together, bro. So, like, according to the docs, DJ Paul Associates once offered Suicide Boys 500 per show date to open for Paul and Crazy Town. Suicide Boys reportedly rejected the opportunity back in 2017. Juicy J said that he was making a mixtape with the Suicide Boys. That would have been hard. That would have been hard. They did that? I don't want to listen to it. No, nah, they, they couldn't have did that. I would have heard about it. That would have been hard. That would have been hard, bro. Imagine that, bro. Imagine that. But, um, and had been in the studio with the duo quite often. Both Juicy J and Suicide Boys briefly shared image of their recording sessions together on social media. In addition, they state that Juicy J is... Like, it... Bro, y bro, please explain to me in the comments, like, why, why, why are they getting sued? Why are they getting sued, bro? Like, I, I just don't get it, cause it been three to four years, bro. Why are they getting sued for something they did? Three, well, no, they probably. No, they probably. When last time they sampled the Three Six Mafia song? I don't know. I, I just started getting Suicide Boys like. Two months ago, three months ago, so <laughs> probably, it was like two months ago, right? I think I started like getting hit the Suicide Boys. So I, I don't really know all the all the like facts, like when he started sampling Three Six Mafia songs and stuff like that. I, I don't know it. I don't know. But if Juicy J and them was in the studio together, like cool and cool and what's up? <laughs> wait, wait, why do you, like, you let me know, yo? Can I can I please let me know? Cause I'm I'm just sitting here confused, like. Why is Suicide Boys getting sued for 3-6 Mafia for something they did three to four years ago? Like, please, let me know, bro. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below, bro. Like, but it's Nemax for him. out. I know I'm hella late covering this. Like, I've been know about it, but, like, the week that I, like, started to know about it, it was a lot going on, bro. I couldn't really make videos at the moment. So, let me know, bro. Let me let me know what's going on. Let me know what it is. Let me know what it ain't. Nemax for Supreme, I'm out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace, bro.